Hey everybody, it's Craig here. I wanted to come on and show you that I've moved my website from Substack over to Ghost. And I wanted to just show you, you know, what I went through, what it's like, and give you some feedback and a bit of a review on, you know, both of these platforms. So what we're looking at right now here is my original start and grow website on Substack. You can see in the domain here, I just use theirs. Uh, and I built this up starting at the beginning of July, actually. Um, I got pretty good traction what i did was really just kind of build out a bunch of uh posts as you can see and then i also build out a training on here so i you can create paywall posts so as you can see here i did a six uh seven step training um where you basically have to you know subscribe to get in here so i'll show you as an example you get to say step one where i have my simple formula you can see this here but ultimately this is all paywalled if you're not logged in and so Super good. I really liked it. Um, started posting in here. Uh, I guess when you first write something in here it um, and you, you publish it, it sends out an email to your email newsletter. And so it's always, you know, you're trying to get people to subscribe to this, um, to, to, your, to your newsletter. So I also created some categories up here. So like I said, my training category, um, software reviews. Again, this is just kind of breaking up the um, you know, your different posts into categories and then an archive and an about us page. It's pretty simple. Um, I liked it a lot, you know, going and looking at the dashboard, you know, pretty straightforward to use. Um, writing new posts was pretty easy. You could, you know, build up your drafts. And as you can see, you know, when you're um, publishing out things, you get a good view here of sending out to recipients. You see link clicks of, you know, what people are looking at. Uh, you know, I liked it. it. It's not a bad platform. Um, you could also do threads and uh, also they had a feature. I never use any of this in terms of um, setting up podcasts on here to record audio. I never did that, but um, you know, something definitely could do. Um, collected subscribers here, all statistics as well. So there's some neat features. Everything was pretty low tech in here. Um, but as you can see at the end of July, I started to trail off here with my traffic. Things were going well, but most of this traffic I found, as you can see, came direct through Twitter, social media. Uh, and as you can see, there's almost no Google, very few, nothing, nothing was coming from Google. And one of the things I found with Substack was it wasn't really Google friendly. I was really struggling with getting, um, you know, it indexed. I was having problems with the search console and just, just wasn't liking it. I wasn't getting any organic traffic. So I started shopping around and I found a new platform called Ghost. It's an open source platform, does a lot of what Substack does, but just a bit differently uh, and actually has a lot more control. And so I decided to take the leap and try it out. And so I, you know, obviously I have a lot of content. And so I took a lot of this content and just moved it over onto the Ghost platform. And so what I found is a lot more flexibility and a lot more customization. And so I came up with this new page. So I built this literally probably in the last two weeks, really moving everything over and just trying out designs and, and just seeing what it looks like. And so this is my homepage and it's really blog focused. So you're seeing again, all the articles that I brought over, you know, simple images. Um, I really like how these, uh, well, the design of this, there's a lot more design options with Ghost. It's, it's similar to WordPress where you have a ton of themes that you can apply, you know, to your site and to your blog. I really like this one. Uh, I just changed some of the colors and really just kind of use it as is because it's clean, simple, uh, and, and very easy to use. Uh, I just really like it. And, you know, the best part about this is that Ghost is much more Google friendly. The search results are already starting to come in. I'm starting to get indexed already within just, you know, a week and a half of, you know, building out what I have and then submitting site maps, getting verified on the search console. It's been really good. So, Again, I just made a simple about us page, brought in some graphics. Uh, again, I did most of this uh, work on the other site. So just bringing it across was was pretty straightforward. A lot of copy and paste, but, but pretty easy. Um, so again, this is a, a subscription platform. So when you click subscribe, you're taken to you know a subscription page where you give name and email. I've got a free and I've also got a paid membership where you get access to all of those, my paid training, all those paid courses, uh, similar to what I had on Substack, but again, you just, you know, click through here and, you know, you're subscribed to, to the site. 
Um, again, you can also do pages and blog posts. And so here's my course, uh, my offer, and then you can see all the different modules of my course on here. So I've built an entire course, um, you know, on this ghost platform. I did it also on Substack, but you know, I really liked it over here. And again, just much more flexibility. So all of this, you know, uh, the back end here is similar. Again, I've moved over some of my subscribers into here to test. I'm using the base kind of like um, first level tier um, subscription to Ghost, uh, which is like 10 bucks or something. Very simple. Uh, and I just brought a few subscribers. I didn't want to bring all of them over um, just as I'm testing this out. Uh, but as you can see, you get on a dashboard and you've got, you know, quick statistics of your subscribers. And, you know, if they start to you start to have paid subscribers, they come in here um, pretty easy. You can, uh, you know, look at the posts, very simple. You know, I've drafted a bunch that I'm looking to publish pretty soon. Um, you know, creating a new post, very simple. And I love how elegant this is for creating blog posts, super easy, but also powerful. If you look at this little plus sign here, when you click in, you can insert images, uh, markdown, which is, you know, for creative design writing, uh, you can insert raw HTML. So if you need to embed something from another site or, or what have you. Uh, you can create galleries, insert dividers, bookmarks, email content, email call to actions, um, adding buttons, um, GIFs, videos, the list goes on, file, product, uh, recommendations, uh, headers, embed all these different you know, social media content on here and a whole bunch of other things. So super valuable and it allows you to really create flexible posts with a ton of um, you know, rich content in there. Really like this. Uh, again, you got a sidebar here where you can, you know, change the post URL, publish dates, tags, uh, excerpts, and then a bunch of, uh, you know, metadata and Twitter card stuff, you know, for your uh, SEO. So really neat, uh, very simple. Again, I like the clean white space. And, and again, you publish all those. You can schedule and then again, showing all the published posts again are all here. Uh, so if we want to go and edit them and change them up again, pages. You know, all the pages you want to create, again, simple to creating a post, all that same features in there. Uh, your members uh, are on here as well. So all of the different people that are part of your list, you can see them here and, you know, dive in to, to see, you know, more about them. Uh, offers is really interesting too. So you can create, um, here's an example of an early adopter offer uh, I was playing around with, um, you know, where you can discount things. Um, so super interesting, some neat marketing tools that you can uh, use right in Ghost Pro. So, you know, that's basically the simple aspect of the site. There's not many features here. Um, you know, when you get into Ghost Pro, you know, here's where you can start to do your design. So again, your title and description, you set your time zone, a bunch of metadata, um, you know, more settings, like your actual design uh, of what it looks like. You want to change your colors, your brand. You know, it's all, this reminds me a lot of WordPress, very simple, bring your logo in, you know, your, your banners here, um, you know, site-wide configurations of fonts and stuff like that, you know, your header designs, and then even your post, you know, what, what kind of images do you want in your posts? You can change all that up, fairly simple. Uh, and then you can change themes. You know, there's a ton of themes in Ghost, which is really cool, super easy. You just kind of pick the theme and, and add it. There's lots of free ones, but there's also tons of paid ones. But uh, again, the free ones, I'm using a free one right now. Um, very simple. You can see, what is it here? The Casper. Um, so it was one of the defaults that I just used that. I really like the design. So very simple to set up. Uh, and again, you head back, you can view your site just by clicking there. And it's a really great platform. So again, looking more at the settings, your navigation. So your top navigation, super easy to change here. That's all these across the top. So you can just change those very simple, copy and paste the URL you want. You can link out to other uh, sites if you want, uh, very simply. Um, staff, so again, if you want other people to, to you know, invite them to come work on your website, obviously you might have other people on your team. Um, membership, so again, this is where you can configure your membership. So if you have a free tier or a paid tier, a premium tier, as you can see, here's my premium tier. Uh, put all your benefits in here. Really neat tool for, for building this out. I, I really like this. Uh, it was really neat. Um, you can see here I'm connected to Stripe as well. So there's an integration where uh, you connect. And again, that way you can um, you know charge your customers and the funds will go directly into your Stripe account. 
So super neat there. I really like this membership settings. Uh, your email newsletter, like I said, there's email built into this. So you build your newsletter. Again, all your members get pulled into that. And you know, here's where you can customize your newsletter uh, and really you know, get into what it looks like. And you know, every time you publish a post, one of these goes out. So this allows you to customize, you know, all the same things you would think, your header, your body, you know, who's your email address coming from. You can put yourself here, a no reply or your own email address, um, what have you. I've still got to set this up. I'm looking forward to testing this a bit more, but again, that's setting up email newsletter. Integrations, like I mentioned, here's where you can set up a ton of things. This is one of the main things I love that's a difference between uh, Substack and Ghost is that here you literally can integrate with everything from you know Slack uh, you know, to Buffer and uh, Stripe, GitHub, all these different things. There's just a plethora. And, and my favorite, Zapier. You, know, you can integrate with Zapier. It means you can integrate with everything. Super powerful, super useful. Um, and again, just plugs in with all of your favorite kind of uh, social tools, your SaaS applications, super powerful and highly recommended. Um, code injection, again, if you're a bit more sophisticated, but you know, I use this to put in my Google Analytics um, so I can track uh, you know, all the traffic that I'm getting uh, on Ghost here on the platform. Again, something that was harder to do in Substack than it was uh, here on Ghost. And then labs is pretty neat. This is where you can do some importing of content and exporting your content. Again, deleting, you don't want to do that. Uh, and then redirection. This is basically experimental features and probably advanced stuff that most people won't really touch. So that's kind of it for my kind of review of this. You know, I'm really happy about moving over to this. I'm excited to see how my um, search console starts to really index me into, uh, you know, the Google search results and start to get more, um, you know, organic traffic from uh, from search. Um, so again, I'm going to continue to publish more content. I'd love if you come check it out, uh, you know, subscribe if you want to follow me along on this journey. Lots of great articles on, you know, everything you need for lead generation and, uh, you know, systemizing and, and creating automated systems for, you know, passive income online. So lots of great resources for you. Would love to you know, get to know you, come visit, uh, please like, and subscribe to this video and come check out my website. I put a link down below. Um, and you can also try out ghost. I think they have a trial. I put a link down below for that as well. So give it a whirl and, uh, see if you like it. Thanks for listening. Uh, I hope you found some value in that. And if you've got any questions about Substack or ghost or anything I've talked about in this video, please leave a comment below and I would love to help you out. Have a great one. Take care.